Hi, my name is Patrick Kimatu Kaduli. I've been a mango farmer for more than 23 years, and this is my story. I started mango farming in 1998. By the year 1998, I had 98 plants. I got into mango farming because I have seen people get a lot of money from mangoes. When I got into mango farming, really, I got money. The reason why I chose mango farming is because I have found me people getting a lot of money from mangoes. And since I had to educate my children, I thought of having mangoes in my farm and I planted them in large number. At least now I have more than 400, whereby I get money. In fact, mangoes, when they are ready, even if the prices are low, you at least get money. And getting money from fruits, like December when they are, they are, they are, they are, the mangoes are there, and it is a, a busy month for the, for the year, you have school fees for children, you have clothes for children, and you have Christmas food for your people. So I would encourage people who are having farms which are uh, vacant to plant mangoes because mangoes will never lose market. Out of my 400 plants, each plant giving 400 or more than 400, at least others give a thousand plus. I get money, and the money would, which, which the least money that gets in my pocket is no less than 400,000. So I can tell you, get into mango farming and you will, you will develop yourself. If uh, one wants to plant an acre, he would at least have something like 100,000, which will cater for the seedlings, for labor, manure, and even fertilizers. So after doing it, this person would enjoy the fruits after three years, which means Within these three years, he would be using money. So the cost would even go higher than the 100,000 shillings. Since 1998, the challenges that I got from the mango farming, number one was labor. Number two was chemical challenges. Three are the pests. Four, are the fruit flies and the insects which will affect the mangoes. The other thing is lack of market, price fluctuation, and the market is flooded with the mangoes. So we leave them on the trees. We are working on the market fluctuation to try to sell the fruits ourselves. And I'm working hard to get a vehicle which I would use to transport my fruits to the market and at least see a different price from what I am expecting in the farm. Going forward to my fruit, to my orchard, I am thinking of having an, an alternative to have citrus, which when the market is, is low in mangoes, I would eat supported by the citrus. Already I've started, and uh, looking here, you can see some. These are pixies, which are planted. I want them to supplement the mangoes here, because here, when uh, we have a lot of rain, water floods here. And when this area is flooded, thrips are in plenty, and the, the fruits doesn't do well. So uh, we are looking for that alternative, and a little mangoes on the dry areas. That's my story as a mango farmer. What is your story? Share it.